Well, not much wet weather is expected this week. We saw a little bit of light snow early this morning. A few flurries are possible later tonight, but our focus is on the cold coming in for Friday and Saturday. The worst of the wind chill should be felt late Friday night to early Saturday morning, potentially as cold as 20 to 30 degrees below zero in the valley and as low as 40 below zero in the Berkshires. So some intense cold gusty breezes and dangerous wind chills are on tap, prompting likely to first alert weather days for both Friday and Saturday. Saturday. Right now, the only alerts up are some wind chill watches, and this is up for a good chunk of New York and all of Vermont. We should get those extended, but this is where we're likely to see wind chill warnings once we get closer to the event, which again will be Friday into Saturday. And I think we'll definitely see wind chill advisories here in Western Mass, potentially some wind chill warnings in the higher elevations. So let's take a look at these wind chills projected by Friday morning to start falling down into the single digits, both above and below zero. The actual temperature will continue to fall throughout the day Friday. So the wind chill is going to follow suit, dipping down below zero early to mid afternoon. And then we just keep going down again, reaching that worst part of it. Oh, it disappeared early Saturday morning with some wind chills again, possibly as cold as 40 below zero in the hills. So it's going to get intense. Wind will get lighter though on Saturday, so the wind chill won't be as bad. And then the temperatures will start climbing out of the gutter by Sunday. So right now we're down to about 28 degrees. We have mostly clear skies looking out from our Agawam sky cam, but we'll have more clouds building in overnight. Your 24 showing we stay mostly dry, but there's a low chance for a couple of flurries to pass across Hamden County overnight tonight. I think we'll stay pretty much dry through tomorrow morning, but we will have a lot of patchy clouds around. By the time the sun comes up, though, those clouds are already moving back out. Cold and dry start. Most of us will, if not everyone, will be in the teens tomorrow morning with light to calm conditions, uh, light wind to calm. And then as we go through the afternoon, light northwest breezes, some scattered clouds in the Berkshires, but plenty of sunshine throughout the day and seasonable temperatures, maybe a few degrees cooler than what we had out there today. As far as the current situation, high pressure still in control. The cloud cover tonight is from an upper level system passing to our south. But again, high pressure is going to keep control and it's going to keep us dry pretty much through the next several days. It will be brisk at times tomorrow, but lighter wind than today. Breezes increase out of the south on Thursday, which will pull temperatures up a little bit. But then Friday with our Arctic cold front, temperatures are going to plummet and wind is going to increase out of the northwest. We're expecting wind at 15 to 25 miles an hour Friday, gusting as high as 30 to 40 miles an hour. So we do have a low risk to see a few snow showers or squalls with the passing cold front Friday morning, but it's a low chance. This is mostly a very cold, very dry air mass that builds in gusty breeze breezes will be increasing out of the north and west on Friday. I think we'll get the worst of the wind during Friday afternoon. Wind will continue Friday night, but it won't be as intense and it will continue to lighten up throughout Saturday. Uh, so not overly blustery. We're not really concerned about wind damage. The concern is going to be that wind chill Sunday. We're back to, you know, nicer temperatures at 38 degrees in the afternoon, a rain or snow shower possible dry and milder early next week. 40s on tap all of next week with some wet weather by Wednesday. Back to you.